Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Family Food and Fun. I hope everybody's having a happy Saturday thus far. Um, today I just wanted to come and share another recipe with you guys. Um, something I stumbled along on the internet, stuff I wanted to add into it, stuff I kind of left out of it. So let's just jump right in. So I want to do a chicken and shrimp marinara. And this is what I'm going to use. For my marinara sauce, I'm going to use the Bertoli um, marinara sauce. This is a, the traditional marinara sauce. It has Italian herbs and fresh garlic. I love, love, love garlic. I'm going to use, of course, my chicken. I'm just going to take this chicken and chop it up. And then I have a bag of shrimp medium shrimp and it says that it's already peeled and deveined tail off so i'm going to use that and then you probably can already tell i love to use sweet vidalia onion and i love to use my peppers colors 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 bright colors love 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 and then finally i'm going to put some chopped spinach in it there we go, that's the right way. <laughs> I'm going to put some chopped spinach in there. And of course, I'm probably going to use my own little minced garlic in there as well. Um, mushrooms. I don't like mushrooms. I don't like the way they look. I've never had them just in my mind the way they look. Oh, not going to eat them. So we're going to have ours minus mushrooms. And I think that's the only thing that we're going to leave out. But this is going to be my take on chicken and shrimp marinara. So I hope that you guys will try this recipe. If you've already tried it, had it before, just leave in the comment section what ways you've had it, you've tried it. I love to hear from you. And as always, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe if you have not already. Share. Tell somebody that knows somebody so they can come along on this journey with us. So I'll I'll be back I'm gonna get everything set up and I'll be back okay guys real quick before I forgot something that I wanted to to share with you guys give me just one quick second wash my hands there was one more thing that I forgot to tell you that I'm gonna use so we got our marinara and our meat and everything but I'm gonna use like a, a pasta a pasta like a spaghetti noodle to be our bed so I just wanted to show you I'm gonna use this an angel hair pasta this way it'll be our I would just call it like a filler it'll help fill us up and everything um, with the marinara the chicken and shrimp so that's what I forgot to tell you guys so I just want to tell you guys that real quick but I'm getting ready to cut up our peppers and our onion I'm about to cut up our chicken and I'm about to get the shrimp all cleaned off and then I'll be back so we can start the process so I'll be back y'all okay guys so we're back so I had got everything chopped up I went on ahead and got my chicken started it was chopped up I chopped it up I put a little bit of butter in here a little bit of seasoned salt and a little bit of pepper to get that going. I already got my onions and peppers chopped up. I have my shrimp all ready to go and cleaned up. And I have my spinach over off to the side here doing its thing thawing out because it was fresh frozen spinach. So all that I'm going to do is get my chicken started here. Get it going, get it cooking good. And then in a minute, I'm going to add my onions, green pepper, red pepper. Get those going, cooking down a little bit. And then I'm going to wait because it doesn't take long for shrimp to cook. So I don't want to overcook my shrimp. So in a few minutes, mm, I'll add my shrimp in a few minutes, maybe right before I add my sauce. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cook my chicken down and then I'm gonna add in my onions and green peppers, which I'll probably go ahead and do that real quick now. Just gonna put it all in. All right. 
get this mixed around and all this is going to start cooking down with our chicken okay so i'm going to put the top on that let that start cooking down some and then i'll be back when we start adding in the shrimp and the sauce so I'll be okay guys so i'm back so our chicken and our peppers and onion have been cooking down and this is where we're at with it. So what I want to do is I'm just going to add my shrimp here. Give me just a moment. Okay, had to get my shrimp. I'm gonna add my shrimp here. Just want to mix them around because it doesn't take long for shrimp to cook. So I just wanted to add that in. <clears throat> right. so I'm gonna let my shrimp get just a little bit of pink on them and then when I come back I will put my marinara sauce in there and then just kind of let it cook down so I'm gonna let my shrimp get a little pink and then we'll be back to add the marinara sauce in our spinach so we'll be back okay guys so i'm back so as you can see my shrimp has gotten pink so i'm gonna go ahead and put in my marinara and then i just like to add maybe this much water into the jar and then i'll shake it up just to kind of get the residue off the sides of it okay. and we like our stuff saucy so yes I'm putting another one in gonna do the same thing add a little bit of the water shake it up and get the residue off the sides put that in Go ahead and start getting it mixed in here. And it's nice and colorful. And pretty much at this point, we're just going to simmer it down like a medium low heat. We're just going to simmer it down because I just want everything to simmer in the marinara. And then for my spinach, all that I have been doing for my spinach, let me see if I can get you guys over here. So for my spinach, I've just been pushing down on it with a paper towel to get all the, the juice and water out of it because it was frozen. I don't need any of that water going in. We've got enough liquid in as it is already. And that's all that I've been doing. And I'm just going to kind of shred it in because I want it mixed all in there. See, just putting my spinach in. And because we're putting the spinach in there, we're probably going to have to, you know, salt to taste. But one thing that I like to put in my red sauces, if I'm doing a spaghetti or... Um, just anything where I'm using like a spaghetti sauce or a red sauce I love to just add like a little dab of sugar to me it just kind of helps take it helps take the edge off I'll just say it like that so let's get you back over the pot so at this point we're just going to mix that in there and this was our spinach so we're just going to cook all this down and once it starts to get a little simmer on it, all I'm going to do is, is just sprinkle just a little bit of sugar in it to take the edge off. And then that will pretty much be it. Just cooking it down. Just making sure everything get mixed, gets mixed in there. Okay. Alright. We'll let that start to simmer down and work its magic. 
and then at this point I've also pretty much started another pot so that I can start boiling down the water to boil down the angel hair pasta noodles so that water is going to be boiling this is going to be simmering down on our medium low heat I'm going to add just a little bit of sugar and we'll pretty much be back with some finished product in a while so let's just go ahead and let this simmer we don't want to rush it we want it to take its time and just simmer down because we want all that goodness all those flavors so we'll be back with the finished product and i'll let you guys ha uh, know how long that i let it simmer down so we'll be back okay guys so we're back this is what it's like nice and done i just put it on like a low simmer for about 20 30 minutes just let a low simmer go and i did add just a bit of sugar kind of takes the edge off of that marinara and over here I have it in our bowl with our angel hair pasta noodles so give me a second to sit down and we're gonna taste this so I'll be back okay guys so I'm back and I have my bowl here so we're gonna give it a taste my son left me hanging. He didn't want to give it a taste because he seen me put spinach in it, I believe. So, <laughs> so let's try this out. I got a chunk of the chicken, a chunk of the shrimp. Let's see. Okay. really 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 good I'm glad I did put the sugar in there to me it kind of takes the edge off the marinara sauce because marinara sauce just has that tomatoey taste to me but the sugar kind of helps it out I do have spinach I'm not sure if you can see the spinach but I do have spinach in here but the spinach really doesn't give it any kind of flavor so I guess it's just going to be there for garnish or green color purposes but it's actually really really good and the chicken just letting it marinate for that 20 to 30 minutes all the flavor just kind of settled in in the meat let's see mm. -hmm. I got the chunks of my peppers onions this was really really good guys I really like this so hopefully somebody watching this video will at least try it let me know what you do to it if you do anything too different if you add anything take away anything let me know I'd love to hear from you and as always make sure that you give this video a thumbs up make sure that you subscribe if you have not already and make sure that you share tell someone that knows someone so that way they can follow along on this journey as well so this was really really good so I'm excited to give this to my husband when he gets home from work so yeah so I'll see you guys on the next video thank you so much for watching bye bye oh yes welcome back to Angela's channel I just want to give everybody my personal review on the food today <laughs> um, I don't know exactly what to call it but it was good it's almost like gumbo kind of sort of because it has shrimp, chicken, tomatoes, onions, peppers, everything. So just wanted to give you my review. I give it two thumbs up, zero thumbs down. Take it easy.